<coughs> okay, um, I guess I'm awake now. <sighs> I guess we should go downstairs. Um, actually, let me just check everything's still here. Um, yeah, everything's still here. I don't know why I instantly just had to check it. I don't know. I just, the thing is, I think it's because I just had a dream that someone came in here and stole everything. It was weird. I don't know why, but, um, what's it? It's night time. Um, I guess we should, you know, turn the light on, I guess, then. Um, light on, right? Um, oh, come on, really? We missed this one? Oh, I'll clean it later. I'll clean it off the sofa later. I need to go check on something real quick. I don't know if we've got any gun bags, because... If we do, I want to get all these guns hidden away, you know, in a gun bag, so I can give them back to Rick's group. Um, they're already gone, I think. Um, actually, there's nothing in there. And these chests are really loud today, I don't know why. Um, okay. Nothing in there. Um, nothing in there either that's of use to me anyway. Um, no. Okay, nothing. I guess we could just head back upstairs then. <sighs> I mean, I sh I guess I can ask Negan for one. You know, ask him. I might have to check if it's got any trackers on it though, because I don't know if I can fully trust him. But yeah, I suppose I can ask, yeah. Let's go ask Negan for a gun bag, you know, um, so that we can put the guns in there. I'm actually quite thirsty, so... Let's go back into the kitchen real quick, okay, and then let's fill this up, there we go, awesome, okay, so now let's go and head out to see Rick real quick, um, hey guys, what's going on, wait, what was that, um, it came from over here, guys, what's going on, what's, hold on, um, what's going on, Mr. Levi and Ollie are still here, um, we do, guys. What are you doing here? Where's the rest of the group? Um, they look kind of threatened. Um, Negan, Negan, what the hell is what the, what the hell is this? What's what's going, Stephen? Um, Negan, what what the hell did you, what the hell did you do? What what did you do? <laughs> the punishment has been dealt. What are you doing? Dealing a punishment, but you said they would go free. That that was part of that was part of the deal of me killing two of them. Indeed, I did, and they will. In fact, most of them have. But I decided to keep some to punish for trying to cross me again. No, no, that's enough. No more punishing. Look what you've done to his face. And now that I think about it, it's actually the exact same thing as what you did to Dwight. No. Now that's where you cross the line. I am the boss, not you. I still have multiple people to punish in multiple ways, and you will become one of those if you don't mind your business. Now go get me a can of cola or something. Be useful. No. Excuse me? I said... No. See, that's where you are crossing the line. Did you not just hear me? I am the boss. Not you. Me. Don't punish them, okay? I, uh... Fine. Punish me instead. <laughs> punish you? Really? If I let them go, I can punish you? Y yes and you, you need to get Stephen proper medical attention and change his clothes as well. <sighs> then you can punish me in whatever way you need. Any kind of punishment? Yes, but only if you keep up the deal. Fine then, your punishment first. Your punishment first though, right? No, no. Do as I, yeah, do as you said first, and then the punishment, you know. Get him proper medical attention. <laughs> Steven, it's gonna be okay. The stupid medic's gonna help you. Um, get him up. Um, you better fix him. 
If you don't fix him, and my end of the bargain is let down for the second time, you'll all have hell to pay. Get him up, get him fixed, get him ready to travel. I want him, Mr. Levi, and Ollie gone before daylight, and fixed up. Get him a pair of new clothes as well, you know? Or, fine, whatever. Get Stephen a new pair of clothes. Mr. Levi and Ollie are fine in the clothes they got. But you did this, or Negan did this, but you're going to fix him. And if you don't, you know the risk you're taking. So get it done. <sighs> I need to go spend some time thinking. Well, they're fixing Stephen's face because of what Rick did. Did they really? They did it again. They just used the iron again on his face. It's an iron anvil. And they put it against his... They, they pretty much burnt his face. And now that I actually... I then saw Stephen's face and... That's the exact same thing that happened to Dwight. And in fact, I'm thinking at this point, did Dwight even die? Because, fair enough, I didn't, I don't remember seeing Dwight, but... What if Dwight got off? You know, got off that boat and went in a separate way? Because I'm sure there were little rowboats on the side of the boat as well, so... Although he may have not got out, of the sub um, got out on the submarine, what if he got out in some other way? But Negan obviously punished Dwight at some point, but why did he punish Dwight? I mean, fair enough, there's rules, but he promised that if I killed two of my own friends, that the rest of them would go free and unharmed. And then he keeps three of them here to punish. And... He decided to burn Stephen's face, and he's going to have to live with that scar for the rest of his life. And I just agreed to let him punish me in any way he wants. He could gouge my eyes out, which is a horrible thought. He could do what he just did to Stephen to me. He can do whatever he wants. He can cut my hand off, he can cut my arm off, he can cut my leg off, he can do whatever. And I just said that he could, in order to save the lives of free people. In fact, I was saving the lives of more people than that when I decided to kill two of my own friends. And then he didn't even keep up what he said he was going to do. Negan just... As soon as he was starting to grow on me, you know? As soon as I started to think he could be a good guy. He goes and messes everything up and breaks the promise he made and although promises are just a thing and people's people would say that they're made to be broken but this kind of promise isn't one that should be easily broken but <sighs> Stephen, Miss Levi and Ollie should get out of here you know and um, I guess I'll have to keep up my end of the bargain as well. And I don't know which way I'm going to be getting punished, but it's going to be happening soon and I need to get prepared.